guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today I have got another announcement for you. I know two announcements in, I don't know, a couple of weeks, three weeks, something like that, depending on when this video actually gets uploaded. But I have actually got an announcement. I have been working sort of indirectly over the past six months and more directly over the past few weeks um, on a book. So I have been doing poetry for about six or seven months now and I had the intentions at some point in the future to do a book, but I really thought it would be maybe 2021, 2022, 2023, something like that. But then I, I looked into it more, I looked into the structure of uh, just sort of a debut poetry book, and I realised that poets do these things called chat books, or you can do a chat book to get started before you do, let's say, a full collection. And so these little chat books normally consist of anywhere between sort of uh, 10 and 20 poems, something around that. I mean, it can be more, it can be less. It depends on, obviously, the length of the poems and things like that. But they normally situate around a certain theme, and it also gives a taster of that specific, po uh, that specific poet's poetry. I can even say that, poet's poetry. That's, that's a hard thing to say, but yeah, it gives a little taster of that poet's poetry and uh, yeah they're normally about sort of 20 to 40 pages in length and it's a nice little introduction book kind of thing. So I obviously over the last few weeks in particular I realised I had got enough poems to do one of these books and I thought oh I'll format it in, uh, in my Word document and obviously I'll have a look at how to self-publish on Amazon. And so I did that and it turned out for me personally, I don't know, maybe it's because I already had some skills in Photoshop and I was easily able to do the cover and also I knew what I was doing with Microsoft Word and things like that. But for me it seemed pretty easy to do. Um, the challenges came a little bit when I was uh, sorting the formatting for the Kindle option and actually if you do go ahead and buy the Kindle option um, I've formatted it for portrait view because I know that's pretty much how most people read on a Kindle they read on uh, sort of this way around in a portrait style and then flick that way but I've formatted it specifically that for that way so if you rotate landscape the formatting might not be as brilliant um, because I did come into a few issues and it's something I'm still going to have to learn if I publish any more books in the future in which I am actually working on a second book right now, second poetry book and so it's something I'm going to work on, need to work on, see if I can possibly line up the formatting on Kindle for both portrait style view and landscape view but I think that might be a little bit harder. I mean I'm not necessarily saying the landscape view won't work but it probably won't be as aesthetically pleasing as if you have it on the portrait view. So I did just want to mention that as well for clarity um, but saying that I have got the book. I've got copies of the book here. Um, as I say it is a poetry book and I did decide to just throw myself in at the deep end and, and get a book sorted. So without further ado I'll get this book up and I will show it you first hand. So here is the book. Obviously there's a little bit of glare there from, from the outside light. In fact, I've not got any other lights on today. The light that you're seeing is just the natural light from outside. It's quite bright today. Um, but yeah, so there's the book, Through Love and Pain, A Poetic Stumble Through Life is the subtitle. Adam William Robinson. I wanted to put Ads William Robinson on there or Ads Robinson, but Amazon didn't let me because I need to have, I put my author name in as Adam William Robinson and you have to have your author name that you put in um, on your cover. So I tried to go back and edit my author name so to Ads Robinson, but I couldn't do it. So it's so annoying. So I've got to just stick it at Adam Robinson. It makes me feel, oh no, I've not got my nice little social persona name on there. But anyway, I did put, look at that, Ads Robinson on the back there. But way, look at that. I've got my little author um, photo there. And then we've got Through Love and Pain on the back there. A little bit of blurb as well. So I may as well read off the blurb for you. It is a 41 page book, is it? For 41 pages. Uh, there is 21 poems in this book. Uh, and yeah, let's just get on. I'll, I'll read you this blurb. So, Through Love and Pain, A Poetic Stumble Through Life brings you a debut chapbook collection of 21 meaningful poems from the mind of an eccentric. Whether it be love, mental health, friendship or spirituality, this book encapsulates emotionality and the quest for existential meaning. I can never say that word properly. Existential? Existential? existential isn't it? Existential meaning. This poetry heavily focuses on flowing rhyme. 
Consequently, in future works, you will see even more of a rhythmic style that was inspired primarily by Dr. Zeus. As you may subtly note, this book gives a mild taste to that Zeusian-like verse. So yeah, that's the little uh, blurb on the back. So down below, you can actually get the book in the description if you want to, if you want to support me. Uh, it's on Kindle and it's on paperback. I would suggest, if I may be so bold to do so, that you get the paperback only because I really love books in paperback, so I just have a natural bias to that. But if you want to get it in Kindle, then be my guest, do so. But I always think it's nice to have a book in paperback now. I don't know what the whole environmental impacts of that are. In fact, I'm not really considered that, but I just like a tangible book, if I'm just being honest. Um, but if you want to get it in Kindle, and potentially, I suppose, help the environment as well, then go for that option. Both links are down below. It is available in loads of different countries. It is also a copyrighted work. So don't you go stealing my work. I'm looking at you. I know I know you want it. Oh, yeah, I could, I could get some of them poems and put it in my book myself and, and sell it for loads of money because Ad's poetry is awesome. No, no, you're not doing that. It's copyrighted. Copyrighted in 177 countries, mind you. Copyright. I've got it in here. Look. One sec. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that there? Copyright 2020, Adam William Robinson. Way, way. Anyway, so that's my way. Look at me, losers. I've got copyright. What the hell? Anyway, so, um, right, yeah. So what was I going to say now with it? Oh, yeah, so it's available in loads of different countries. Uh, it's available in France, Italy, I think Japan. It's not worldwide because I don't hold worldwide copyrights. I hold copyright rights. No, copyrights in... Uh, 177 countries and there's actually about 240 odd countries in the world so I couldn't select the worldwide option on Amazon but it is available in most countries it's available in Australia uh, US UK France Italy Germany Spain uh, Japan Canada I think Canada you know loads of different places the only thing is for some bizarre reason the paperback and the Kindle um, versions are available in France and US and all the rest of it and, um, Germany and Italy and all that but for some reason the paperback is not allowing me to sell that in Australia I don't know why that is so in Australia only the Kindle version of this book is available, which is a bit of a shame. I would have liked to get it as paperback over there as well. I do not know why. I've, I've tried updating it on, on uh, Amazon Kindle Publishing, but it's not having it. It won't let me sell it in, as it's paperback in Australia. Bit of a shame because I do know there's a few people watching me from over in Australia. And they may have liked to get this in paperback, but unfortunately it's not going to be the case. But I'd say if you're a US viewer, you can get this in both paperback and Kindle. The links will be down below, as I say. Now, it is coming in at $3.99 on Kindle and $5.99 on paperback. I was originally intending to price it at $4.99 paperback and maybe, I don't know, $2.99, $3.99, similar sort of price Kindle. But I had to put it up, up a pound because the fees that Amazon charged me on the print version, on the paperback version, are a lot higher than on the Kindle version. So I end up having to cover myself a little bit by putting it up for uh, a quid there. So ideally, I would have liked to sell this for 4 99 because, as I say, it's only a 41-page book. It's only a little chat book. And that's normally around what people sell them for. But, as I say, I end up having to put it up a quid. So, I apologise about that. I would have liked to get it in at a better price for you guys. But with the fees, they're just hammering me. I, I just simply can't do that. So, if you would like to buy a book, as I say, link is down below. Um, and that's me done shilling the book, basically. That's this video. It's me shilling my book. Um, should I actually give you a little taste of the, of the poetry? I think, I mean, there's 21 poems in here. I think I should give you one one poem, right? I mean, what's that saying off The Simpsons where Ned Flanders um, hooks up with that uh, Christian rock girl and then we end up doing naughty things um, at some sort of concert under a sheet and he says, you get one taste of the milk, but then you have to buy the whole carton. That's what's applicable here, right? That is what's applicable here. So this isn't one of the really good ones. In fact, I should actually give you one of the really good ones because that would be a better sales tactic. But, you know, under promise over deliver. Like, that's a great saying. Under promise over deliver. A gaze beyond the glass. 
What sweet beauty have you got, never to release me from this mortal lot? Stories told, illuminations bold, the quivering of the soul's affection. To stand and sit, sit where I am told, little canvas thou I hold. The intellect can say nothing more than an uncertain word upon a shore. Do thou feel standing here with me, or are thee just illusionary? How can we touch when years apart, yet roses bloom in the heart? The idle gaze outside the glass, how can I speak when we are past. So yeah, it's a good one. Actually, that's better than I first thought. I was I was giving myself really low credit in my mind, but when I was reading it, I was like, bloody hell, did I read did I write that? I'm like, what that's really good. And I don't and I'm not saying it from a perspective of, oh yeah, I think I'm really good. It, I'm saying it as a from a perspective as I can't have wrote that. That's not I'm not that good. I'm not how could I have wrote that? And and, and it's weird because sometimes with the poetry uh, and now I'm just going into a ramble, so I'll finish in a minute. But sometimes with the poetry, what I find is that it come, it, the words just come to me, and it's not that I'm doing it. It's not that I'm writing the poetry or I'm type. Actually, I do it in my phone notes, so I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm trying to be all uh, 18th century poet, aren't I? Doing that, like saying that I write it in cursive or something or whatever the phrases. But no, I just do it on my phone notes. It's pretty, pretty sad, really. Pretty technologically. Um, stifled essentially, I don't know, but yeah, I just do it on there, but when I'm typing it out, the words do just come to me, I, I mean, I can't really take full credit for that book, I have to give credit to this weird thing that just comes into my mind where the thoughts just drop in and then I, I write them, and it's almost as if, um, it's almost as if I'm a ghostwriter to some weird autonomous force that transcends me. It's, it's very odd. If you want to believe in some divine god, then you can do. Or if you want to believe in some sort of ecological generality of thought, um, or, I don't know, collective unconscious, as Jung called it, or uh, elementary ideas, as Bastian called it, or whatever you want to call it, really. But, yeah, something comes into my mind and produces the words for me, and then I, I'm just writing it down like that. Um, but anyway, so, that'll do it for this video, guys. Uh, book down below, shilling it, you know, I'm shilling the book. I'm sh you can't... I've got to shill it, I've got to shill it, so don't don't get mad at me, because I've, I've got to shill my own work, so book down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, so see you very soon, guys.